Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. I'm a Saint Beauty artist, a Monette and Savvy brand partner. I'll put those down below if you have no idea what they are. Um, and a lover of all things beauty. So here on my channel, I do a variety of different videos, um, mostly regarding skincare beauty. I like to talk about the products that I try, the um, skincare uh, things that I do, Anything and everything related to beauty, that is what my channel is about. Um, I am not a professional makeup artist. I work in the corporate world. I have two kids. I'm married. I just really, really like makeup. So if you really like makeup and you're looking for somebody who's like a girl next door and is not a, a makeup artist and just wants to have fun with makeup, then this is your channel. Make sure you subscribe. So today I'm going to talk through some of the five things or five ways I change my skin. Um, I have been, I've had very, very dry skin where I would look like a mummy. In my T-zone, I would get flakes around my nose, all on my chin, all my face. And there are certain things that I have done that I've noticed have made a difference and changing my skin to be more on the normal side. Now I do tend to still have a tendency for dry or to have dry skin. And so I have to continue to be on, you know, my skincare routine. And there are certain things that I notice if I don't do them in time, whatever, that my skin starts getting a little bit more dry. But I wanted to share with you guys my tips. Now, these aren't, some of them are mind blowing. It's just really stuff that I've been consistent about. And I think that's the biggest thing. I notice a difference in my skin when I started being, doing consistent things creating habit, habits, doing them consistently, using consistent products, washing my face consistently, taking off my makeup consistently. So I think that's the biggest thing um, with all these habits or all these tips is consistency is key. It's really hard to have a good skin or good skincare regimen or have good skin if you're not being consistent in your regimen and the things that you're doing. And these five things, there's no particular order. I thought about trying to prioritize them and then I was like, no, because I feel like all five of them really, really helped. So the first thing is I severely limited my alcohol consumption. So I, um, like full disclosure, I drank every single night. Um, I used alcohol as a crutch um, and not even a crutch. It was my calming medicine. It was a, my Xanax. It was my, I don't care about anything anymore. And I never got to the point where I was nasty or drunk or intoxicated or I couldn't function the next day. It was never like that. But I was using it because I was so stressed out at work and so stressed out at home that I was using it as like a pacifier for me. And I was drinking a lot and my tolerance just kept going up and up and up. And I noticed that when I stopped, I did a whole 30 back in October and I went 30 days. And then I was like, you know what? I really feel great without alcohol. I'm going to go more. And I went a total of 55 days without alcohol, which is a, aside from being pregnant twice, like I didn't drink anything when I was pregnant, but aside from my pregnancies, that's the longest time I've ever gone without alcohol. So I had a 55 day streak of not having alcohol and it made such a big difference on my skin. And to the point where I, I haven't cut alcohol completely out, but I've severely decreased it. And I've noticed such good benefits with my skin. My skin is not as dry as it normally is. Now, when on, on the nights that I do have alcohol, I will still wash my face. I'll wake up the next morning and I notice that it's more dingy. It is more swollen and it looks, it's not as bright and it is more dry. So I think alcohol, number one thing that was drying my skin out. And so if you are somebody who drinks a lot of alcohol, do something for yourself. I mean, your whole body will thank you. Everything got better. And I actually felt better afterwards, like physically, mentally, and emotionally, I felt better when I wasn't drinking alcohol. So it not only helped my skin, it helped various aspects of my life. So that was the first thing that I noticed. The second thing was because I was decreasing my alcohol, I actually was able to hydrate myself through the day. So I would usually have like two glasses of wine or like two old fashions or two dirty martinis, sometimes three, let's be honest. And I would dehydrate myself. And then the next day I would drink a whole bunch of water, but I always felt like I was behind the curve. Like I never was really, really hydrated. And I know I don't just drink water. I do drink electrolytes and stuff like that because I know people are like, oh, water dehydrates you even more because it replenishes your electrolytes. I replenish them with electrolytes, but there's only a certain point you have. Like I, a lot of them hurt my stomach, whatever, but I do hydrate myself. But I felt like every time I would have, like I would drink, 
Then the next morning, I was just like trying to get up to a little bit where I was hydrated and then I would go back down. So once I stopped drinking, I realized that, oh my gosh, I could actually hydrate myself. I was in the positive when it came to hydration and that's the key. And you hear people talk about drinking water and making sure you're hydrated and all that stuff. And we just kind of blow it by and we're like, oh yeah, like that's what people say, but I don't drink a lot of water because I don't like it. Buy those flavor stuff. You will notice such a big difference when you start adding water and getting yourself hydrated. So if you're doing stuff to deplete it, even like coffee and teas and stuff like that will deplete it. Make sure you're getting enough to be hydrated because I noticed my skin was more glowy. It was more plump. It was full. Now there's a difference between being plump and being swollen. Plump is like your cheeks are plump and everything just looks alive and your skin doesn't look sagging. Swollen is like, there's a difference. So when I say I was swollen with alcohol, I wasn't plump with alcohol, I was swollen. It's a different plumpness that I get when I'm fully hydrated. So that's the thing. The third thing I did was I added collagen to my skincare regimen and I was consistent with it. And I forgot the collagen, so let me go in my refrigerator and get it. Okay, so this is the collagen that I use. It's called Madeir. It's the Life One BioCell, bi liquid BioCell. So you have to actually keep it in your refrigerator. You shake it up, you take it. I'm at the point where I just swish it in my mouth. I used to like measure it and stuff and I'm like, okay, this stuff is not affordable. I'm just gonna be very frank with you. This is not an affordable product. It is expensive. You can get a subscription where you can get a little bit more money off. Um, I think I might have a code. I can put it down here, but I really, really like this stuff. Now, this is stuff that I didn't notice that it was working until I stopped it. When I stopped using it because I was like, it's too expensive. And then when I started back up again, or when I stopped it and had it out of my system for a while, I was like, oh, what's wrong with my skin? I started back up and I was like, oh yeah, okay. Glowing skin, healthy skin, radiant skin. And this one, they have, um, I was like, what is on there? Um, they have a life one. They have one that's specific, specific, blah, 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 specifically formulated for hair, skin, and nails. I get the life one because it does everything. It's for your hair. It's for your skin. It's for your nails. It's for your joints. It's supposed to help. It says, um, it's a award winning, blah, blah, blah. It's an award winning ingredient that is clinically shown to promote healthy aging, active joints, and younger looking skin. This formula combines the multi-patented power of collagen slash HA matrix, so hyaluronic acid um, technology with the added benefits of 13 potent phytonutrient-rich superfoods, um, which are infused to deliver a unique liquid delivery system that provides fast absorption and results. So you store it in the refrigerator. Now, I... The biggest key to this is being consistent. There are other collagens like collagen powders in the market and people all swear by them. I don't know. I have done like, what's the vital proteins? I was consistent with the vital proteins. I didn't see the, the, the change in my skin like I did with this. Now there are a variety of other ones that people tote about and you know, they'll say they're the greatest. I don't know. I just know like vital proteins is one of the popular ones. I did not notice a difference when I was consistent with it. When I'm consistent with this, I notice a difference in my skin but you're gonna pay for it. So there's that. Um, yeah, what's the fourth thing? What, am I on three or four? I can't remember. So the fourth thing, I think I'm on my fourth thing. I don't know. Um, my fourth thing is consistency in skincare. Now, I was going to show you guys what I use but the problem I have with that is everybody is different. So I could sit there and be like, this is my skincare regimen, but it may not work for you because your skin is different. Your skin barrier is different. You may have a different, you know, may you're, maybe you're not as dry as me. Um, there might be sensitivities that you have. There might be budget stuff that may not work for you. Whatever it is, you have to find what works for you. But the biggest thing is, I think I did myself a disservice and you can kind of look through my YouTube. I used to try out products and do monthly favorites and do all this stuff. And then I started realizing that I was just jumping from product to product. So as soon as my skin got acclimated to something, I was on to the next one. Well, the problem with that is sometimes that could hurt your damage, your skin barrier, or it doesn't give enough your time, your skin enough time to actually get used to the product before you jump to the next one. So what I would recommend you doing is find a skincare regimen that actually works. It doesn't have to be 15 steps, get a cleanser. I like toners, but some people don't like toners, get a toner. Don't get a toner. Um, get a good serum and get a moisturizer and sunscreen. That's it. Get those things, consistently wash your face, 
consistently take off your makeup every single night and consistently use the same products. And then once you kind of get used to it, start, you know, okay, maybe when you use up that serum, you try another serum and see how it fits. Because the, the other thing that I noticed is I didn't know what I was actually, what in my skincare regimen was actually working because I was always cycling through stuff. So once you create that consistent regimen, and you use everything and you get used to it, you kind of create a baseline. Then when you start incorporating other stuff or you start changing it, keep everything else the same. You change one thing at a time and then you can see whether or not that thing does any difference. Is your skin more glowy? Is it more hydrated? Whatever it is. But if you consistently are jumping, you're never going to have that baseline and you're never going to know what products are working for you. So that is the other thing is have a consistent skincare regimen that you consistent where you do it every single night and every single morning, but you also keep the products the same so you can create that baseline. The fifth thing, what is the fifth thing? The fifth thing is your makeup. So I am a Saint brand partner. I love Saint. I sell Saint, but I like Saint because for a year and a half, I used it before I became a brand partner and I absolutely loved it. And I talked about it all the time. The reason why I became a brand partner because these products have changed the way I do my makeup regimen. So if you don't know what Saint is, Saint is a 3D all-in-one compact system. So everything that I need for my full face is in this compact. This, I don't use all these, like, don't get scared. Like this is a lot. I'm an artist, you know, brand partner or whatever. So this, I, I have a lot so that I can showcase a lot. But the difference with cream makeup and with Saint makeup is what it does is it creates a nice barrier on your skin. And I've said it multiple times. I've said it on my Instagram. I've said it in my stories. I've said it on YouTube. I notice that my skin looks better at the end of the day when I wear the Saint makeup than on those days where I do my skincare put a mask on whatever and I don't put my skincare or uh, saint makeup on. My skin looks better on the days I wear my saint makeup than on the days I don't wear saint makeup. And the reason for that is when you go and you put your, your skincare on, what saint does is it creates a barrier on your skin. So what it happens is everything that you put on your face before saint, all those nice serums and those moisturizers, it's going to be locked in. So it's not going to be absorbed into the atmosphere. It's not going to evaporate off your skin. It's going to be locked in and that way your skin has to absorb it. Then you, you know, those moisturizers you put on, it's going to be more hydrating. The other thing that saint makeup does is it creates a barrier on your skin. So when you're out in the elements, you're out in the wind, it's stupid windy here in Texas, blowing all that crap over, you know, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's hot, whatever. Um, just the regular elements, it, they're always like sucking the life out of your skin. When you have the same makeup on, it creates that skin, that, that skin barrier so that everything is locked in, but everything is kept out as well. So like I said, I, I've said it multiple times before and it's not because I sell it, it's because it honestly is the truth. The days that I wear Saint makeup, my skin looks better when I take off my makeup at the end of the day than it does on the days that I don't wear it because I'm able to soak in my skincare and create that barrier. So those are the five things that I have done that I've noticed have changed my skin from being super desert dry to now more normal with the tendency to be dry, but more normal. And I can say more normal and I don't have to do all these fancy things and do all these masks on my skin because now my skin is pretty much normal and it's very, very close to where I want. I'm still working on stuff. I still got stuff that I'm working on, but that's what's kind of fun with skincare is you just try out things and it's like, oh, that works and that doesn't. But you've got to get your skin to a point where you're able to do those and get it to a baseline. So hopefully those five tips help. If you have any other tips that you feel really helped your skin or that you've noticed as you've kind of go, gone down your skincare trail, I don't even know, skincare path, path to great skincare, leave those down below so other peepers, pe peepers, we're all peepers here. Um, all your people know. I don't know. I don't know if I had enough coffee. I'm like super spicy Tay and all over the place, but anyways, Welcome to my channel. Hopefully you enjoy it. Leave your comments below. Until next time, bye.